Great. Thanks, AY. Yeah, I'm happy with our guys' performance. Uh, I thought that was a difficult game given the circumstances. We're thankful for uh, Virginia University of Lynchburg to uh, to play the game. Simply, I mean, that was a quick turnaround. It, it got done in uh, just a few hours. And uh, not only did we not have any time to prep, but neither did they. So just appreciate that we, uh, we, we had a chance and opportunity to play in front of our fans and uh, certainly grateful that uh, they came out to support our group. Decent, a high tonight, 60% from the field. What did you draw offensively about the attack here tonight? Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was mature. It, you know, we, we didn't try and hit home runs. A couple guys uh, wanted to make some highlight plays with uh, trying to do their old school Anthony Smith dunks. Um, however, I, I do think we shared the ball, 24 assists is – uh, that's a that's a really good number, and I don't think we took the game lightly nor the opponent for granted. And, and again, that's a reflection of the character of our group. Uh, going into the game, uh, you know, I, this, this whole process of pre prepping for the game and uh, only changed overnight. Uh, your team handled it well. What did you have to say to your team? I know you didn't have a scout, so what was kind of the, the yeah, and you know our, our our message is the same. It's it's usually going to be about us. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's some details that we'll give in uh, in certain scouts with different opponents, but when there's such a quick turnaround, now mind you, our guys had prepped for the Clark Summit game, so to give them another dose of eight players for a personnel deposit as well as their offense and defense, we just felt like that would have been overload. So we didn't say much other than, hey, let's be about us and, and handle the game uh, with a with a sense of gratitude because we get to play. Uh, I mentioned to you, AY, in the pregame, just the remnants of 2020 and, you know, not knowing if you're going to get to play a game that week, let alone the day before, and that, having to wait for the test. So uh, the fact that we got a chance to put the uniform on and uh, smell the popcorn was a good thing for us. Yeah, I, I mean, those guys make sacrifices as well. And we're used to Kyle Road playing 30 minutes a game. He only got 15. And what I love about that is how engaged he was on the sideline with his teammates. Um, it was neat to see J.J. And, and Gabriel and Steve and Bryson, who serve us every day in a spectacular way, uh, get on the floor. And, and, and they all got in on the first half. So I, I thought that was beneficial for them and for us. Uh, well, we are fairly uh, uh, liberal in the the way we allow our guys to shoot threes, and uh, I, I just think we have a a group that's pretty selfless, and we tried to find the open man, and and fortunately, just for whatever scheme that was was get granted for us tonight, we we got some some open looks, and guys knocked them down. Yeah. With a lot of assists, his high was eight. Tonight he went off for a lot for 14 points, his new career high, and hit and he hit on um, four threes. What's it like having him score as well as pass the ball? Well, every game that Colin plays is just a deposit into the bank account, and the the more reps he gets, the more experience he has in in games that are at this level, I just think it's going to benefit him and us because he's a really special player. He's got – he's mature beyond his years. And you can tell how much respect he's garnered from his teammates uh, by how they celebrate him and how much they trust him with the ball. Yeah, Shiloh is uh, sometimes invisible. Like, we don't give him enough credit for all the things that he does. He rarely makes a mistake defensively. 
He, uh, he sacrifices his own individual numbers for the betterment of the team and its advancement. So happy for him that he's in the top 50, not surprised. And, uh, and, and I think he'll just continue to climb up that ladder. Yeah, Kyle's capable of that, and we want him to do that. That's Some teams have chosen to allow him to shoot open threes, and we welcome that. Uh, but again, Kyle's the kind of kid, whether he takes 15 shots or zero shots, his contribution or commitment to us winning the game doesn't change, and you got to love that about him. What are your thoughts on the Joseph Van Zandt one-handed slam? Uh, <laughs> like I said uh, a little bit earlier, uh, guys were really trying to tear the rim off. Uh, you know, Joseph, Zach, Isaiah, Blake, we, we, like, we have some really good athletes. I'm missing a couple, but uh, maybe they'll hear the press conference and, uh, and uh, get in the weight room a little bit more. But uh, Joseph's capable of making some highlight plays, and I've seen it over the course of his high school career and uh, in his short tenure with us. Happy for him that he got, uh, got one of the highlights. Yeah, and I, I think for our group, you know, we have a mature group. And I think for Zach and Colin, the freshmen that are playing the most minutes, uh, I think it's good to have a dose of that. Yet, given Darius and Shiloh and Kyle and Blake and the years of experience they have, not to mention Zay and JJ, I, I just think collectively we're kind of used to this. And uh, but But look, guys want to play in games. We've practiced over 40 times now. And that can get a little monotonous, especially once class is in and you got to prep for finals. Uh, so I, I was just I was just pleased that you know we we approached the game with a sense of determination and uh, an effort that uh, I felt like we made a a positive step this evening. All right, thanks guys. Oh, you have one more, Ed. Uh, well, mind you, Darius was out the entire summer. So Colin has not played with Darius uh, maybe for two and a half months. And I think Colin defers a lot to Darius because his name is Darius McGee. But Colin's more than capable of scoring. He's just a pass-first point guard that, you know, is still learning when to be opportunistic. And, uh, and again, I think he's going to be – I think he's going to be special – uh, and it's just a matter of time. But he's, we, we all know, we see it on a regular basis in practice, he's more than capable of scoring the ball. Um, but, again, I think the best thing about him is he takes what the defense gives us.